Director of Breast Imaging and Intervention at the Center for Breast Care in Boca Raton, Florida. Um, I personally read about 70 uh, mammograms per day uh, at the Center for Breast Care. We're currently doing over 200 patients per day. Um, our procedure volume has increased approximately 12% in the last year. I attribute that increase predominantly in increasing in numbers and patients who are self-referred. Um, oftentimes patients currently can't afford to go see their primary care physicians, but they know they want to have a mammogram done. We always felt that a single mammographer uh, had a difficult time maximizing their cancer detection rate when reading large volumes of mammograms per day. Uh, because of that, we always double read our mammograms with two physicians, which is a fairly inefficient way to run your practice. But we felt that our patients and our physicians um, wanted us to provide maximum uh, detection rate uh, for breast cancer, and we felt that this was something necessary for our practice. Um, in about 2002 or 2003, CAD was approved by the FDA, and this became a great alternative for us. Um, at that point, we no longer had our films read by two radiologists, but we used one radiologist as well as the computer to maximize our cancer detection rate. We adopted CAD uh, for our mammography practice because it's very difficult to maintain focus when you're reading large volume of cases every single day. I mean, the patient you see, number one, on a Monday morning needs the same attention as the patient um, Friday afternoon at 5 o'clock. And to maintain that focus can be very, very difficult. So what we do is when we are looking at our mammograms, we review them initially by ourselves, and then when we're finished and have um, our thoughts in order, we implement the CAD. And this helps us to refocus to areas that potentially may be cancerous. It'll find some calcifications that you may have overlooked because the phone rang or someone uh, asked you a question, or it may find areas of asymmetry or masses that you also may have missed. So it really is a tool just to help you to refocus and take your second look um, prior to dismissing um, and completing your mammogram. Some of our biggest challenges in doing mammography is the tedium of the job. Uh, we see large numbers of patients every single day, day in and day out. And once you're done uh, with one year's work, it's time to start over again because these patients come back for annual screening. So it's maintaining a focus, and CAD really helps you to maintain that focus. We know from several studies that have been reported in the past that CAD permits us to diagnose 20 to 23 percent more cancers um, compared to um, a practice that does not use CAD. And that's what we want to do here at the Center for Breast Care is maximize the number of cancers we're able to find and find them at the earliest stages. When I meet physicians that are doing mammography and not using CAD, I'm often very surprised. There's really no reason for someone not to use it. It's been found to be helpful to mo the most expert of radiologists as well as those who only do a small amount of mammography in their practice. You're going to be able to find more cancers and find them earlier. So I really am very shocked when I talk to people who don't use CAD in their practices. Um, in the future, I believe CAD is going to become a greater part of a radiologist's life, not only in mammography, but in MRI, in CT, in ultrasound. We're being asked today to review so many images with so much information presented to us. We really need the assistance of a CAD to help focus us and to direct us towards any abnormalities that may be present. So I believe that CAD's gonna become a greater part of the whole practice of radiology, not only mammography.